Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video, I will show you how to create overlapping images in Avada. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos like this one. And if you don't want to miss one, click the bell icon to get notifications of all new videos on our channel. Ok, let's begin. There are many situations where you might want overlapping images on your website. The traditional approach is to put your images together in Photoshop or the like, and this approach is still valid today particularly if you want it to look the same in responsive situations. But let's look at some more dynamic ways of overlapping images in Avada. As we can see here, these images are in three separate columns in a container with a background image and do not overlap. But if these images were also overlapping each other, it might look like this. In this example, I've manipulated the translate X and Y axes for the first and third images, and with the translate effect removed on hover and a rotate effect added, it looks like this. But let's look at a simpler example. There are essentially two methods to overlap images, using the transform options on the columns the images are in, or to manipulate the margins on the images themselves to move them out of the flow they are in. Let's look at the first method. Here I have two columns with an image element in each. All I have done to get the image on the right to overlap the image on the left is to edit the column and adjust the transform options in the extras tab. Here you can see that on the regular state, this column has a translate x value of minus 127 pixels and a translate y value of 58 pixels. In this way, the column overlaps the other. In this case, the image on the right is above the other image, as elements further down in the DOM are higher. But if we wanted the image on the left to be above the other one, we could simply add a z index, let's say 100, to the left column, and now that column sits above. See the how to use z-index video in Avada for more information on that. Now with this method, we also have to add the same translate values into the hover state, or otherwise the images would not overlap on hover. So if we look at the hover state for the right column, we can see that those translate x and y values are repeated. We can also see both of these columns have a rotate value added to the regular state, but on hover they go back to normal. That's just an added effect. Ok, let's look at the next method. This is pretty much identical, except that it involves setting the margins on the image itself instead of the columns. This is still using two columns so I can have independent rotation effects. If I just edit the second image and head to the design tab, we can see margin values of 58 pixels and minus 127 pixels. This is effectively doing the same thing as the translate values, moving the image down and across. The main difference with this method is that when we add a negative margin to the image, it breaks out of the limiting width of the column, and this allows the image to grow larger than the same image in the first method, which is contained by the column. We can also overlap images in one column. Here, if we insert two images, they naturally sit underneath each other. If I now just edit the second one, and on the design tab give it a minus 550 pixels top margin, it comes up above the other image. And if I also then give it 650 pixels left margin, it forces it to the right, and reduces its size, as there's now less room in the column. You can also play with the image max width value, or the image alignment, before adding margins, and they will also affect the result. There are so many ways to do this. Here you can see that because there is only one column for the rotation effect to be applied to, both images rotate the same way. Finally, I have an example that combines a few different things. Here we have a container with a background image, a 60% column with an image added to the background and a title element on top, and then a 40% column containing two images with manipulated margins. This is also a situation where using a z-index to control which images on top can come in handy. For example, if I wanted this label image to be above the notebook one, I could go into the image element and the design tab and set a z-index of 100, and it displays above the notebook. Ok, there's one important caveat with layouts like this. It's quite possible that they won't work well or at all in responsive views. That will of course depend on your specific layout and the image sizes you use. But if we look at this example on medium screens, we can see my images are too big to work here, and it would be the same on mobile. So for these sort of effects, it's probably best to consider them desktop only layouts. What I would do is to use rendering logic to make the containers only render on large screens, and create other containers just for medium and small screens. Ok, I hope that awakens your creative spirit to experiment with transform and margin options to overlap your images to make some very creative layouts. 
This concludes our video on how to create overlapping images in Avada. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.